Andrew Fish. Hello, Leo. Hello, Harry. Hello, Duncan. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Michael. Hello, Rodrigo. Hello, Louis. And hello, Alex. I'm at Liberation Square now, as you can see by the statue, because today is Thursday the 7th of May, but on Saturday the 9th of May, we will be celebrating something very important in Jersey called Liberation Day. So you should have seen lots of things about Liberation Day um, at the moment. You should have seen maybe some flags or people talking about it on the news or the radio. Um, it's a very important day for us where we remember when we were occupied in Jersey by German Nazis. Okay, So that's soldiers during the Second World War. When we were occupied, it was very, very difficult to live. It was 75 years ago, okay, 75 years ago, long time, where people didn't get the food, their favourite foods, they couldn't play their favourite games, they couldn't play with their families, they couldn't see their friends. Um, it was a very, very difficult time for everyone. So the German soldiers who occupied us in Jersey um, gave us something called a curfew, where you couldn't go outside your house at certain times, you couldn't go out at night, you had to stay home a lot of the time. They issued things called rations, so you couldn't just go to the shop and buy your favourite pizza or chips or pastas or curries or crisps or chocolate or fruit or veg. You had to go and um, get a certain amount of each food, so you might be given like one loaf of bread for a week or two potatoes or one bag of rice. Um, so it's very difficult. You can get a lot of your favourite foods, you couldn't just pull up your takeaway Robin Hood or Pizza Hut and get your favourite food, okay? Very, very difficult. You couldn't go outside and play with your friends a lot of the time. You couldn't even drive your car. You had to walk everywhere or go on your bike. Um, when we were occupied um, a long, long time ago, people had a lot of their freedom taken away, toys taken away, foods taken away, things like their radios and televisions. Um, if it was to happen now, it would be like having your phone taken away or your games or your bicycle or anything like that. Um, it's a very, very difficult time. Um, that's why it's really important that we celebrate it. We were occupied for five years, so can you imagine what it must have been like for five years to not have your your favourite food, your favourite toys and fun, you're not able to see your friends or your family for five years. So to celebrate Liberation Day, people in Jersey tend to have parties. It's a bit difficult at the moment because of the lockdown. Um, but you should see, hopefully tomorrow, Friday and on Saturday, um, lots of flags everywhere. You might hear some nice music, you might see people uh, driving around beeping their horns, anything like that. Um, I'll be having an afternoon tea in my garden if the weather is, um, is sunny, which it looks like it will be. Um, so find your own way to celebrate and think about the sacrifice that other people in Jersey made for our freedom now. So I've got some questions to ask you today about Liberation Day. Um, and I want you to try and use your iPad or go on the computer to do this. You can use um, Google. And I want you to find out, or you can use a dictionary. I want you to find out what liberation means. Because we call it Liberation Day. I want you to find out what occupation means. Jersey was occupied. I want you to find out who the Prime Minister was who announced our liberation on the 9th of May. And I want you to look at a map of Jersey and I want you to find out what parish Liberation Square is in. Okay, we're currently in town. What parish is Liberation Square in? Now remember, I told you that Liberation Day was 75 years ago. Okay, 75 is quite a big number so we're going to try and count it. So we need to count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, five years ago. Another maths question is, um, if we were liberated 75 years ago, the war finished 75 years ago, and the year is 2020 now, what year was it when we were liberated? 2020, take away 75, your answer. Now look at this statue, the liberation statue of the bronze people celebrating. 
can you count how many people are celebrating? How many people are in the statue? And the last bit of learning to finish this off is to think about how the people 75 years ago would have felt. Okay, so how do you think they would have felt during the war when Germany occupied Jersey? And then how do you think they felt after the war when we were liberated? Have a look at the statue, think about how they might have felt. Why do we have a statue? Why do we have statues to remember different things? What's the point in having a statue to remember Liberation Day? Have a think. And lastly, um, we're going to have a look at the statue, but from a different view. We're going to look at the Royal, the Liberation Square statue, but we're going to look at it from Fort Regent. And here is Liberation Square, for, as um, seen from Fort Regent. Um, I'm zooming. If you can imagine, or go onto YouTube and search Jersey Channel Islands Liberation Day, and you will see thousands and thousands of people gathering in Liberation Square, all celebrating. And all the footage will be in black and white because it was a longer time ago. And um, it's uh, yeah, it's incredible. Have a little look on YouTube. Happy Liberation Day, Mandarin Fish.